Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and uh, Happy New Year. I um, hope uh, 2024 is going to be great for uh, everybody going forward. Anyway, just wanted to cover a couple things that I had uh, ordered um, before the holidays, and everything just finally heading here. Uh, so, uh, just real quick, one of the uh, quick updates I did for the uh, uh, the Element Ecto that I have. Um, I replaced the uh, rear lower trailing arms with the uh, aluminum, the nice aluminum from uh, SOR products, or uh, yeah, SOR RC products. So we're gonna give those a try, but this is uh, s still probably one of my favorite trucks yet. This is a, this is an awesome truck. Anyway, I had, uh, ordered um, some Injura products just because I wanted to try them for uh, no other reason. Um, mainly, not the wheels. I just I just like wheels. I don't know. I like, like messing with wheels and tires, but I, uh, I've never had a set of Injura tires before, so I wanted to just give them a try, uh, see if they're any good or anything. And uh, these are a similar tread pattern to what the... Uh, I think it's a little more aggressive though than what's on the uh, uh, the Red Cat Ascent. So this is a similar tread pattern to the Red Cat Ascent, which are these. They're just a little more aggressive, but they're nice and soft and sticky. So I'm gonna give those a try on the uh, put the uh, Injitora tires with the Injitora wheels, and I saw that they have a silicone. Uh, uh, anti foam insert. Uh, so I'm going to try those. Uh, so give, give those a try. These are supposed to be the soft ones, I guess. Uh, maybe the medium. But they're, they're pretty s s soft and not bad. So yeah, we're going to put the uh, Indora foams and the Indora tires on the Indora wheels. And just to try them out and see how they do for no other reason. Get all this cleared away real quick. And then on the uh, on the assistance tent, the Red Cat assistance tent from uh, we got some parts from H Tech here. So we got a uh, let's go ahead and pull these out individually so we can look at them. So this is a uh, pan hard uh, mount. So we're going to give that a try. I don't think it's really going to help much of anything. These are the uh, front and uh, rear. I think these are the uh, lower uh, link mounts. So we're going to change out those plastic mounts, put in these uh, uh, aluminum uh, link mounts, and uh, try those out. This is a front bumper for the assistance uh, tent. The the uh, uh, the Rock Pirates one just I don't know. It just didn't quite work the way I wanted. It was blocking the uh, the front clip from uh, keeping the body on. So, but uh, yeah, we're gonna put that together, give that a try. Probably not gonna do it on camera because that gets boring. And then uh, HTEC makes a, uh, a front grill with lights uh, for the assistance tent. So we're gonna try that out. I think that'll look pretty good on the on that blue body because it's uh, really close color match and we'll get rid of that bug eye looking thing so yeah it's gonna look kind of like that so i think that's gonna be nice so new bumpers new parts on the assistant and then uh i think after that i'm gonna be pretty much done with the assistant because i'm pretty happy with it it's it's doing really good these are all just minor things other than these uh, link mounts. We're gonna see if these are gonna help or not. Cause I may, if these don't help, I'll just go back to the factory ones. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna get a link riser for the rear. I just gotta, I emailed the guy, um, uh, sh sh shout out to uh, uh, RC Dungeon, uh, who uh, sh showed those that say, uh, there's a guy that makes, and he's on Facebook and I'm not on Facebook, but, uh, 
I did manage to get his email, so I emailed him, but I haven't heard anything back. But it's, it's the holidays, so I, I'm not really that surprised. But uh, there's a guy that 3D prints uh, the an upper rear link riser for the uh, or lower, I forget, but it's, 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 it's on top of the axle. Yeah. And I'm going to try and get one of those ordered. I just haven't been able to get a hold of the guy. Uh, and then the, the rest of this over here. I got some real wheels because uh, I thought those were just some really nice looking wheels. And I thought they would look really nice on uh, on this guy. So this is the uh, uh, the new um, Axial uh, SCX-10-3 CJ-7. So uh, I got two of these done, but I got to get the other two done. But uh, yeah, I think... Yep. I don't have the wheel nuts on there yet, but I think that's going to look pretty nice with those wheels, with the blue. And then uh, I'm also going to try to, uh, I'm going to remove these panels here, and I'm going to paint these kind of a blue close, as close as I can to match the, the not the light blue, but the dark blue. So I'm going to uh, paint these panels. I might paint the roll cage. I don't know about the door yet. Um, I'm probably going to tape off the ro the uh, the uh, uh, rock slider or step there, but I might paint this piece blue just to leave the silver in between because I like silver and blue. It looks good, but uh, I think that's going to look really, really nice. I haven't ran that yet, but um, the only thing I'm going to do uh, uh, before just running is I'm just going to put wheels on it. That's it. So these are trio wheels, but, uh, and I just thought those things looked really, really good. So, and I think they're going to look really, really nice on this guy. So anyway, um, I don't have much of else going on with this up for upgrades other than I did get some, uh, some brass SSD diff covers. They don't look brass and they're not terribly heavy, but they're, uh, I don't see how much they weigh, but they're they're one of the lighter pair, but it's for the straight axle. So I'm gonna put those on. And then of course, uh, I did I did put some red, uh, some aluminum, not the plastic, but the aluminum uh, shackles on there. And uh, of course, I'm gonna have to put the uh, Neo RC license plate on the license plate holder. So we're gonna take off that license plate holder and put ours on there. And uh, yeah, I think all this will look better if it's blue. Um, I don't know if I'll paint the bumpers, probably not. I don't think I'll paint the bumpers, but uh, just, just to give it a little more contrast. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of the decals. I'm gonna try and take them off carefully, put them on some wax paper or something to keep the adhesive good. And I'll try and put them back on, but probably gonna lose all the uh, all the decals off this thing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna paint the roll cage, paint the uh, paint the panels there, and then uh, for a driver, I had uh, um, Chris Pratt from Funders uh, of the Galaxy or. Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm sorry. I don't have the door open yet, but uh, he's a uh, about a seven inch character or figure, and he fits in there really, really good. His, his feet go all the way to the pedals. I mean, he fits in there good. And uh, I was thinking about getting a harness because these seats will take a harness. And I, I might do that yet, but for the meantime, I think I'm just going to get a, uh, a red or black rubber band and just rubber band right around the waist. That's enough to, just around the seat there, that's enough to hold them in there. But uh, yeah, we're going to give this guy a, a run before uh, before I do any motor or servo upgrades and just see how it does with those uh, pretty new wheels. And uh, yeah, those are nice. I like blue. But uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, had a 
really busy holiday, so haven't haven't been able to do any videos. Um, just a lot going on. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys have a great holiday. Put that back up there. And uh, um, happy new year. Thanks for watching.